Hi, in this video I'm going to try to explain how this sequence was made using Blender and After Effects. My Blender animation is very simple, are just a ship moving side to side and a camera closing up to the object, nothing tricky here. First, I needed to render my full animation in separated passes using PNG sequences. First, a pass with my key light and ambient occlusion. Second, a pass with this blue light. And finally, I'm going to need a pass with this yellow light. I ended up with one PNG sequence for the key light another for the ambient occlusion, as you can see here, another one for the yellow light, and another one for this blue light. It's very important to have a folder for each one of these, keeping everything separated and organized. Back in Blender, I selected the main object and the camera to export the location and rotation data using this option in the export menu. You're gonna get a file with JSX extension. That information will be very useful in After Effects. Now, in After Effects, I created a composition with the same size and frame rate as the one in Blender. Now you can import it, your PNG sequence from your files. Now file, import, file. As you can see here, this is the diffuse pass. It has uh, 350 frames. I just pick it one. There's no need for more. Check it PNG sequence and check it the force alphabetical order as well. Click open and that's it. Just drag it this file to the timeline and do the same with the others. Just changing the blending mode. I use it multiply for ambient occlusion and screen for the lights. This one too. This way I have uh, a lot of control over each element in the composition. I can make any color correction without affecting the rest of the layers. To bring the JSX file with the camera and object data from Blender, go to File and Script, then Run Script File, I locate the file, open it, just name the composition like camera data right here click ok and that's it you're gonna get a composition like this one double click and there are two elements the camera and the object copy and paste it the camera has no major problem it's a camera it looks like a camera, but the objects gonna translate as a null object and this null will follow the same movement of my main element. Okay, now for the background I use it a simple gradient and these elements are simply solid shapes to create the atmosphere effect. This is a 4K render of the Earth, also created in Blender. I just put it in the background, super big, with a blur effect. At this point, everything is a 2D composition. It's just a plane over a plane, and so on, and so on. These clouds in the foreground are simply a solid with a fractal noise effect. Fractal noise creates infinitely repeating patterns. I just 
made it wider, mm -hmm. apply some levels and color correction, then rotate it, scale it up, then I animate this offset turbulence value, the X value, to move it left to right. There are two or three of these overlapping, just changing the blending mode to screen. You can change the size, rotation or speed to create some variations. For this halo effect, I use it a copy of my diffuse element, then apply a radial blur effect and some color correction, and changing the blending mode to screen or something like that. The most difficult effect that I created for this was this fireball effect, and I'm going to try to explain how it was done. The basic composition is uh, simply a solid with the same fractal noise. Use it that in another composition, apply a mesh warp effect to the format and a couple of masks to blur the edges like so. Copy that element and reflect it on the other side. Then I made some variations with levels and color corrections. Change the position a little bit and now it's going from the center to the outside. Now Back in the main composition, I place that element, apply a polar coordinates effect, scale it up in Y, and made some color adjustments, levels and curves to make it red, like this one. Now, here comes the fun part. I turn this into a 3D element with this checkbox and it's going to disappear just because the camera is pointing in another direction. To fix this, I selected the position and search it for the position of the null. And this little clock on the side it's going to put a keyframe in the timeline, but if you hold Alt key and click, an empty space is available to type some expressions. But the one that I use it is this little spiral icon. It's called Pick Whip. Just click and drag to the position value of the null object. Release, then hit enter. And now this element will follow the same movement of my main object. I just corrected the rotation, the scale and the anchor point to place it in the correct position. The same as before, I made two or three copies with some variation and this is how it looks everything together. This beam of light is basically the same. A solid turn it into a 3D element that follows the position of the null. But this has an effect called Saber. Saber is a free plugin from Video Copilot. You can check the tutorial 
in the YouTube channel to learn how to use it. You can find a link in the description below. And like that, the beam follows the ship. As you can see, follows the same trajectory. I just added some particle systems with color corrections, as you can see, levels and curves. And this motion blur option activated to make them look like sparks. Like this. Some final touches with adjustment layers to make color correction and a glow effect and the cherry on the top is a lens flare new layer solid go to effects and presets and look for lens flare just change it to screen mode and that's it oh, this one I always add a vignette with multiply blending mode and that's it you can add more details depending on your project but the principle is the same. Everything that I use in this example is very basic for After Effects users. Nothing too fancy or complicated. You can try it even if you are new with this software. Everything in this project was created in the same way. Remember, the software is just a tool, but you are the creator. Hope you find this video useful. Don't forget like and subscribe. Leave a comment and see you the next time. Mama, mama, mama.